In this video, I shall talk about the anterior cerebral artery stroke. The anterior cerebral artery originates from the internal carotid artery, and both anterior cerebral arteries are joined together through the anterior communicating artery. This artery supplies medial and superior frontal and parietal loops. Regarding its divisions, the anterior cerebral artery has the A1 division which extends from the internal carotid artery to the anterior communicating artery and give us the medial lenticostriatal branches that supply caudate, globus pallidus and the anterior loop of internal capsule. The A2 segments extend distal to the anterior communicating artery and gives the recurrent artery of a hubner. Then the anterior cerebral artery gives two major branches, which is the pericolosal and colosomalgenal artery. So what happens when the anterior cerebral artery is occluded? It is uncommon type of stroke that accounts for about 2 to 4 percent of its ischemic strokes. Look to the CT scan which shows hypodense lesion at the distribution of the anterior cerebral artery. Since the anterior cerebral artery supplies three important areas, namely the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for executive function, the patient will have personality change, disorders in planning and decision making. The second area is called supplementary motor area which plays an important role in speech and the patient will have what is called transcortical motor aphasia. The patient cannot talk while still he can repeat some sentences. Also there is involvement of the maturation inhibitory area. Third area is called the paracentral lobule. The paracentral lobule contains part of the motor and sensory area that controls the contralateral leg. As a summary, anterior cerebral artery stroke will cause personality changes, aphasia, weakness and sensory loss of the contralateral leg plus incontinence.